In this video, we'll discuss issues that can happen with different voting methods. Now, one of the most common methods we use is plurality. And here, an issue that can happen with plurality voting, where just the most votes wins, is that if there are lots of candidates, a candidate could win with a very low percent of the overall vote. Let's consider often what happens in early rounds of presidential primaries. Now, at that point, there could be 10, 15 candidates running, and the winner often only gets about 25% of the total vote. So the question is, does that really support the notion of who should win an election? So one of the ways that it's counterbalanced is by giving proportional votes uh, to the percent of the total vote won. So that's why you'll see a mention of delegates given to each candidate in these primaries. The problem is that sometimes that doesn't work. There are situations where this proportional voting doesn't actually help the situation because it's just one vote and then in one situation, like if you're running for mayor, you're not going to multiple places in primaries. You just have that one single vote. So that it can be an issue with plurality. Now, majority rule, we've talked a little bit about the issue that they can have, which is the idea of what happens if a candidate doesn't get 50% of the votes. Often, one of the most common ways to handle this is called the hair method. And with the hair method, you keep only the two candidates with the most votes for a head-to-head -head runoff election. This is what happened in 2020 between uh, uh, Senator Perdue and John Ossoff. Perdue did not get the majority rule. He had to do a runoff, and Ossoff beat him in the runoff for the U.S. Senate in Georgia. Now, the downside is it takes additional runoff elections, and they cost time and they cost money. And that's an important thing if those two issues are at the forefront of our elections. Now, even the board account in our ranking can have disparities. For example, let's start with first, what is the board account? The board account method says we rank our candidates, we give points based on ranking, and then whoever has the most points summed will be the winner. Now, what will, happens when we compare that to the majority criterion within the board account? With this, we're looking and saying, is there a candidate who gets over 50% of the first place votes? And that would be considered like a majority rule. But however, there are times when that candidate may not necessarily win the board account. And when that happens, we say that the majority criterion has been violated. Another situation that can happen is called the Condorcet candidate. And this is one where you look at the head-to-heads of each candidate to the other candidates and then do a comparison to see does one get more head-to-head -head votes than another. And if someone gets more head-to-head -head votes than every other candidate when they're compared head-to-head, -head, that's considered the Condorcet candidate. This doesn't always happen, but when it does happen, uh, and that candidate does not also win the board account, then we say the Condorcet criterion is violated. Now it's important to recognize that the majority rule and the Condorcet candidate doesn't always happen because there's sometimes where the someone doesn't get over 50% of the first place votes or there isn't a head-to-head -head winner when you look at those individual comparisons. So these, these criteria don't always apply on board accounts, but when they do, we do want to pay attention and see what that means to understand what that means about how people voted. So let's look at an example with the majority criterion. Say that Eric, Constance, and Beth run for club president. The club used the board account method, which produced this frequency table, and we know, does this violate the majority criterion? So first thing, let's get the board accounts together. So we start with Eric. He gets one point for these 12, one point for these six, one point for these 10, but then three points for these 30 for a total of 118. Constance, it's two points for these 12, three points for these six, three points for these 10, and then two points for these 30. And then Beth gets three points for these 12, two points for these six, two points for these 10, and then one point for these 30. And you can see based on board account, Constance would win. She has the most total points. But what about when we compare this to majority rule? In majority rule, if we look here, there are 58 total votes. Split that in half, that's 29, but we always need to be one more than 29, so that'd be 30 votes. So does any candidate get 30 first place votes? And if you look here, 
Eric got 30 first place votes, Constance got these 18, and Beth got 12. Well, Eric got 30 votes, which means if this was a majority rule vote, majority rule would have gone to Eric, but Constance won the board account. So we can say that the majority criterion is violated in this case. Now, what about the idea of the Condorcet candidate? Is there a Condorcet candidate in this case? So we found before the, the three levels of the board account, and again, by that, we said that Constance would have won. But let's look at the head-to-heads for the Condorcet candidate. So we start with Eric is preferred to Beth. So if we look, Beth beats Eric 12, Beth beats Eric 6, Beth beats Eric 10. So right there is 28, but Eric beats Beth with these 30. So right here, Eric's preferred. So then the question is, what about Eric then compared to Candace or Constance? So again, Constance over Eric, Constance over Eric, Constance over Eric, but Eric over Constance for those 30. So in this case, in both of those, Eric is preferred 30 to 28 to the other two candidates in head to heads, which means he is the Condorcet candidate, but he lost the board account. So in this case, we would say that the Condorcet candidate criterion is violated. Now, this, again, it comes down to, does it happen? Is there one candidate that beats every other head-to-head -head for the Condorcet candidate? If there's not, say that Eric had been less than Constance, but had been more than Beth, there'd be no Condorcet candidate in the first place. But he won head-to-head -head in both of those, so we'd say the criterion is violated.